thanks for going to do this, guys. It's a pleasure. It's very nice to meet you both. Um, did you do much acting before you got into the whole Harry Potter thing? I've been acting since I was five, um, sort of on TV in, in England. Uh, sort of heartbeat where the heart is, Emmerdale, that sort of thing. A lot, I did a lot of walk on stuff. Nothing on this scale. This is, uh, it was pretty incredible <laughs> the first time I, I got on the set of Harry Potter. I'd never thought I'd ever be an actor um, yeah. before I did this. Um, I always thought you had to be very, very confident. Um, but, you know, apparently not. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, definitely, now I've done Harry Potter. It's definitely a career option. and. Uh, I'd love to continue with it. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you came, you came from an open casting, didn't you, last year? Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of our users deep down think, I could do Harry Potter. Well, I'll, I'll go along. Have you got any tips for, like, when they're in the audition? I do think, uh, tr try not to be uh, too extravagant when you're in there and try and show off, so to speak. Just just do what, what um, just, just be yourself in the first sort of audition. That's what that's what I did in my open audition. I was just, I went in there, I read the script just as... Uh, as myself and because what they were looking for first was just a look and it wasn't until sort of later on that I did the uh, the screen test when I was to play Neville I think if you can be a very talented actor or actress and, and unless you get that that right look uh, in a particular time then you won't get anywhere it's just it's just sort of getting that lucky break really. it's just keep even if you don't get into the Harry Potter just keep at it and, um, and eventually you'll get there Katie I'm sure you've been asked this by every single person <laughs> today, but what was it like Smoking Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, I had a great time filming the scene. Um, Many takes? Or? Um, there were quite a few takes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, a lot of people say there were, there were over 30 takes, but it was never as many as that. Maybe just under 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, I felt much more relaxed than I thought I, would, I was going to be. I mean, just because so many people were talking about it uh, yeah. when we were leading up to to the scene um, but you know it went very well and uh, I hope the audience enjoy it when it comes out it's a uh, it's a very endearing scene. Matthew your character's changed like loads in this film in particular I think mm -hmm. from kind of not that great at a lot of magic to like one of the best people in the World Wars Army. Yeah yeah. Um, what do you think's changed from this? this um, I think one of the things is that his, his parents uh, that were tortured uh, to insanity he was always very embarrassed about it, and, and we only found out, and he's only really come to terms with it in this fifth film when he explains to Harry uh, the situation, and uh, and now he's got over it. He, he wants a way of getting his own back. He wants vengeance on Bellatrix for doing it to him, for ruining his life. And Dumbledore's army is a way for him to do that. And so when he when he joins up, he works so hard, and there's, there's some wonderful scenes where he's just he's concentrating so hard, and he just can't get it right. But with with Harry's teaching, he. Uh, he eventually gets there and uh, he works harder and harder until in the final fighting he's uh, he's one of the best and he's very competent and he holds his own against some of the Death Eaters and he does uh, he does get his payback on some of them. There's uh, some nice spells he's throwing about. It's, it's pretty fun. Okay, one last thing then. Do you reckon that if it came to it, Neville could take Harry in a duel? Oh, one on one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think he could. I mean, okay. he's, he's, not even now. I don't know. All spells, no limits. No limits. Okay. It's not even, we throw the one down and just, just, like, go, just go for it. Right, um, <laughs> oh, maybe he's got a bit more bulk behind him, I reckon. Yeah. I think, I think he can take Harry down, actually. No, I've changed my mind. Yeah. One's aside, he could take Harry down. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix.